Hi guys, Smart here. Thank you for joining me. This video covers the long splice. The splice is the most effective way of connecting two pieces of rope together. We distinguish between the short splice and the long splice. The short splice has a consistent thickness through the entire splice. So it is just as thick at the center as on the sides. The long splice is thickest at the center and it tapers off towards the sides. So it is thickest at the center and thinnest on the sides. So, what's the deal? The short splice has a sharp transition between the splice and your rope. Because of this, the short splice tends to wear out here on the sides of the splice, plus it is more prone to jamming in various equipment. The long splice doesn't have that problem since it is nicely tapered from one side to the other. So which one should you use? For short-term applications, the short splice is excellent. For long-term use, use the long splice. To demonstrate our splice, we are going to need two ends of rope, two pieces of thread, twine or marline, some sort of a fed, and a pair of scissors. To start joining the two ends of our rope, we are going to pick a spot up to which we are going to unravel our rope. So, in this case, probably a bit over half a foot. Take a piece of thread and secure that point using some sort of a binding knot. In my case, the constrictor knot. So I'm going to unravel up to this point. Then unravel your two ends up to the two marked points. Continue by interlocking your strands like this. So we have one strand facing the right, one facing the left, one facing the right, one facing the left. Finally, one more facing the right, one more facing the left. So now we begin our splicing. The first tuck in our long splice is done exactly the same way as in the short splice. So let's start on the right. Our first strand passes over under. So over a strand facing towards the left, 
then under the next strand. The next strand exactly the same way. So over the strand facing towards the left, so over this one, then under this one here. And the last of our strands facing towards the right. Again over under. So over the strand facing towards the left, under the strand next to it. So that's one tuck on the right. Do the same thing on the other side. So our first strand over under. The next one over under. The final one over under. Tighten up every single strand so that you get a nice middle point of your splice. You can now also remove your strands so the pieces of thread they've done their job. We now begin tapering our splice. After our first tuck, we're going to reduce the thickness of our strands every time we tuck them. You can do this by reducing your thickness by half, by a third, by a fourth, it really depends on the situation. Usually, I take a look at the number of strands in my strand and I simply skip one. So here I have four, I would continue with three, then with two, then with one. So let me show you. I'm going to pick out one strand out of this end, one strand out of this end, one strand out of the end as well. Then I secured the strands that I'm not going to use. You can either tie them together or tape them up. Continue splicing with your tapered strands. So this one over under the 
this one over under this one over under After your tuck, again, take a strand out of each of your ends. So this one, this one, and this one here. Secure the three strands so that you don't use them again. Continue tucking your three ends into your rope. So over under over under over under again remove one of your strands out of each of your ends Secure them. Continue tucking your three ends into your rope. Again, over under. over under over under so we've done one side of our splice. So later on, we're going to trim our strands off. For now, we repeat on the other side.
So, once you've spliced in all of your ends, tapering them from the center out, we're going to trim them. So, you simply pull on one set of three strands and you cut them off. Then the next set You should get a nice taper. Now in some cases, you can also do this. You tighten up and you trim a bit away like this. Tighten up the next set, trim a bit away like this. In this case, the wear and tear on your rope is going to chafe these strands here off. Sometimes this is preferable since your strands are going to settle in a bit better. So that's the long splice. You may want to take a lighter or a burner and clean it up a bit. Guys, thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. The long splice is an excellent tool for long-term use of a rope. Thank you and see ya next time.